Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to go ahead and create this deep fake. As you can see, it looks quite realistic and it would be hard to tell that this is not actually Emma Watson doing this. So if you look at the expressions, they are quite similar. She's looking downward in the original image and in the deep fake, she's looking downwards as well. So it is quite amazing and quite realistic to see how well it performs. The angle, the coloring and all the contrast looks pretty much similar to the actual footage so we are going to go ahead and learn how we can create this deep fake using your own PC you can do that and you can also do the same thing in Google Collab we will run five different commands and that's pretty much it with these five commands you will be able to run it locally or on Google Collab as well I used 3080 Ti graphics card it took about one and a half minutes to create this video demo of around nine to ten seconds so it is quite amazing how fast you can do this and there's no training process it just takes the images and does it not actually images just one image and it is able to create this so as you can see it looks quite realistic and uh, of course it will not work with all the environments but you have to pick the correct ones and I will share which of the environments it's not best to use this with and which of these are the best to use with so let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial <music> Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to have a look at a deep fake repository by the name Roop and we are going to learn how exactly can we run this. It's very simple to set up and it's very easy and fast as well. So within two to three minutes, you should be able to get your output. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to install it. This is the GitHub repo and uh, as you can see here is the installation and then you have the Python run command and um, the run file and as you can see here these are all the options or the parameters that you can so disclaimer again it's very important when we are dealing with AI and face swapping and all of that that this software is designed to contribute positively to AI generated media industry so any negative implementation should not be there so you have to make sure that you are using it in the correct manner so how exactly can we run this if we go to Roop this is the actual software part you can see some of the files here if we go to the processors you will see we have the core we have a face enhancer and we have a face swapper so we will use both of these to actually get some decent results so what exactly do you need uh, from the very beginning you need the Python environment so here we have the PyCharm IDE opened up and we have installed nothing so if you go to settings and you go to the project you will see I'm using Python 3.10 and there's nothing installed as of yet so how exactly can we run this first of all we are going to use our terminal so we'll go to the terminal and we will go and click over here now make sure you are in the virtual environment so here you can see we are not in the virtual we are in the global environment so we don't want that so here we will click on this arrow then we will go to command prompt so this will take you to this virtual environment so whatever we are installing now will be installed in this virtual environment so this is the one that we are referring to okay so these are the steps very easy to follow and very easy to work around with so the first thing we have to do is we have to clone our repository we are going to go ahead and paste this so this main.py file you can download from our website it will be available for free to download so you just go and uh, register and then you you will be able to access this but uh, it's it's a few lines you can write it yourself as well so here we are basically downloading the github repository and once it's downloaded you will see here for example you will get this root folder and within this root folder we will have all the files that we saw in the github repository okay so now that it is done we will just go ahead and check it out so there you go so we have the run.py that will allow us to run this and then you can see we have the processor the frame the face enhancer the swapper and all that so that's good and then of course we have to install the libraries the dependencies for this software to run so here you can see requirements dot text file if you open that up we have all these different softwares that we have to install and as you can see we have our basic open cv as well so the idea is that you can go ahead and go to file 
settings and here in the interpreter you can go add and then you can search each one of these and install it but the easier way to do this is just to run this requirements.txt file so what you can do is you can write pip install requirements.txt file now if i write it here nothing will happen because right now i am in this deep fake folder so what i need to do is i need to go in the root folder because there is where our requirements file lies so what we have to do is you have to write cd and you just write root so now you are in the root folder once you are there you can simply paste okay i did not copy that I need to go back copy and here we will simply paste so now it will go ahead and install all the requirements and this might take a while this will actually take a while because there's a lot of requirements and these requirements they have other requirements so dependencies upon dependencies upon dependencies so there's a lot of them that will be installed so once that is done i will get back and we will continue Okay, while this is installing, the next step what we have to do is we have to download this file. So here we have a model that we need to download. So what we will do is we will just go ahead and paste this here and we will run it and that will download this file directly. So there you go, you can see here the download has started. So here you can see we have the download. So the download has started, we will wait for it to finish as well. So our file has been downloaded. We are simply going to drag and drop it in Roop. There you go. We are going to drag it. Okay, so if we open that up, there you go. This is the file that we are referring to. Now, all you have to do is you have to change the name of this. We have to rename this and let's right click and we can open it up in Explorer. And once that opens up, we can simply go ahead and rename this and that's pretty much it so once that is done yeah there you go it has been renamed now we are still waiting for our installations to complete so once they are completed then we'll move forward to the next step which is basically running our files so there you go it has been completed now what i like to do is i like to create a new folder and the folder i like to call it data so basically the data will be stored here so i will open this up in the explorer and here we are going to add our files the ones that we want to use for our deepfake so what we will do is uh, first of all we'll bring in the actual footage so we will copy and paste here and then we will bring in the image that we want to replace it with so there you go so this is the video A perfect smile. Now, if you want to create realistic ones, then this is one of the good examples that how you can do that. So it's not perfect all the time, but in particular cases, you can get very good results. So here we have the image of Emma Watson. So we have the files now in the data. So dance.mp4 and emma.jpg. So now we are going to go ahead and change it here before we actually paste it. So because it's easier to change it here. So here we have run.py. That's fine. And we are already in the root folder so that's why we have the run.py so it will run automatically we should not have an issue now then we have the parameters so the target the target is our dance video so here we will write so this just means we are going back to the parent folder so here it's not in the root whatever we are referring to is based on this so with respect to run.py this file is outside this folder then in data and then over here so that's the idea so here we go back and then we go to data then dance.mp4 then the source is again we go back data emma.jpg so this is small jpg and then we have the final output will be again in data swapped.mp4 now make sure that this folder exists if it doesn't exist it will not automatically create it for you it will give you an issue then execution provider is CUDA frame processor is face swapper and face enhancer so these are the ones the files that we saw earlier we're going to use that to our advantage so what we will do is we'll go ahead and copy all of this and we are going to go ahead and paste it and we will run it so the first time you will do this uh, it will download some models some files so it might take a while to actually get started but the next time you do this it will be quite smooth and uh, seamless process so now you can see the actual processing has started so the downloads they have been completed and now you can see here is the actual processing so there are a total of 290 frames and it is processing all of these 
and it is quite fast so within a minute it is able to do that i'm using the 3080 ti graphics card so it is quite fast in that terms so now i believe the swapping has started and as you can see it's 9 percent 26 frames 28 the reason it's quite slow here is because i'm recording two different cameras and then i have editing software open up as well so there's gpu bit used elsewhere and overall the performance is lower i tried the same thing earlier and it took around one and a half minutes to actually do this so right now it's taking a while because i have a lot of other things going on now here as i mentioned earlier we have the data folder and the saved files the mp4 will be saved here so if we go to that and if we open up the temporary you will see that it is already processing these images so let's see what exactly is this there you go you can see emma watson has already been replaced so i believe it has been swapped there you go yeah you can see pretty much most of the images they have been swapped i believe then it's working on the enhancer there you go you can see and it is quite realistic if you look at the final result now if it was just an image for example this it would be hard to tell that it's deep fake looks quite realistic there you go so where it smiles we have the exact same smile there we have it so it looks quite good this one not so much because the ratio is not right so I believe the face is a little bit bigger and it is much more clear than the actual image. That's why it's easier to tell that it's a deep fake. But for most of them, it's quite hard to say that it is actually a deep fake. So once this is done, it is going to save the video over here and the video will be by the name swapped. So let's go ahead and look at the results that I have done earlier. So as you can see the processing has been completed it took about 14 minutes again this is very long time normally when i'm not recording it takes around one one and a half minutes to do a video like this so if we go to data and we open it up we should have our swapped dot mp4 there you go <laughs> With a perfect smile, perfect body with a perfect smile. Yeah, there you go. So it is quite good. Now to do a comparison, what I've done is I've put it in a editing software. So let's have a look at these side by side. So here you can see that we have our deep fake and it looks quite realistic. So if we stop and look at the expressions, now the expressions of the deep fake are not as aggressive as the original image but they are trying to copy the same expressions so it is quite good in terms of that now if you were to see it without knowing that it is a deep fake then it would be a little bit difficult but when you can see it's the face is a bit tilted and it's zoomed in then it's a bit easier to tell that it's a deep fake but at this point for example if you were to show me this image it will be very difficult for me to tell that this is actually a deep fake and there you go so the motion blur actually helps with selling that it's not a deep fake so it's an actual footage so if you pick a very clear 4k footage then definitely it will be difficult to create a deep fake but if you have a kind of a blurred image you know a blurred footage then it will be a bit easier with some motion blur so as you can see at this point some of the images within the deep fake they are not very accurate so there is a bit of transformation deformation you can say but most of them are very realistic for example this one you can see it is quite good it's not clear over here but over here it's a bit more clear if we add a little bit blur to this it will be almost impossible to tell but here it's good as well so overall it's a very good example of getting a good deep fake getting a good swap so that's the idea if you are using a female image then of course you should use a female footage as well so if you try to swap these then definitely you will have some issues now it's not always perfect uh, it will have some issues so when exactly for example this one so this is completely horrible you can tell 
just by looking at it that okay that's a deep fake the movement is not good the face adjustment the sizing of the face the forehead is too big and it's blurry on the sides it's not selling that it's an actual deep fake so yeah in the ratio and the teeth they are actually good but the rest of it not so much so again it will not work all the time so you have to pick the correct videos now this one was a good example this one and this one was a bad example now we will go to a medium one now if you look at this footage right away you can tell that it's very hard to tell that it's a deep fake this image looks very realistic but if we move forward as you can see here the eye movement might not be the best yeah because the eyes over here they're not really visible so here we have some weird changes in the eye movement so there you can tell a little bit that it's a deep fake and for example here the face is very blur and it's difficult to tell what exactly is happening to the face so therefore the image itself is just horrible so one way to address this is to go manually and go and change this image again manually but it is a tedious process but let's have a look at the footage first and we can discuss it further overall it's not bad but it's not perfect so there are times you can tell it's a deep fake and and there are times that it's very difficult to say that it's a deep fake so for example here it's very difficult to say that this is a deep fake so this again it's i would say this i would give it a solid seven or eight out of ten this here i would give maybe a four and this i would say is a nine out of ten so it's almost perfect a few changes in the images and this will be perfect. So this is the basic idea of our deepfakes. One of my videos, you can say a few months back, I uploaded with a deepfake of me and Elon Musk talking. So that one took a long time to actually execute and install. It was a mess and for a lot of you, it didn't actually work. It was quite sensitive to actually work with that. But now with this advancement, you can see it's so easy and it's so fast. Like within a minute or two, you can do any of these videos. So they are like 10 seconds long. So you can create 10 second video in just one one and a half minutes so that is quite amazing so this is the idea of today's video i hope you will use this in the right manner don't uh, misuse this that is it for today and i will see you in the next one